Good morning, guys. I know some of you have been asking for me to do a quick video on uh, essential oils, and this is your 101 class. There will be a test at the end of this. Uh, seriously, just want to give you a quick uh, why I got involved in this. About two years ago, I went through about three months where I was having some vocal issues. And a friend of mine introduced me to a doTERRA essential oils. And honestly, just like most people that uh, are introduced to these go, it, it, it can't work. Um, but I went into it with an open mind. I gave it a try. Um, and shortly thereafter, my symptoms were gone. I'm not ever going to make any medical claims. I can't do that. Um, but what I will tell you is the oils worked. And so I have been using them for over two years now. Um, I wanted to take a more holistic approach to my health care. Um, and this is one way that you can do that. Um, I have always been a firm believer that when the world was created, God gave us the plants, the um, resources outside to cure anything that we have. Um, I also believe that we are sick so much nowadays because of stuff that we're ingesting, stuff that we're breathing, um, toxins, that kind of thing that we're subjecting ourselves to. So the oils are a natural, holistic way to add to your health care. Um, I'm not ever going to tell you to, that this will take the place of medicines, but what, what most of the people that have found is once they start using the oils, they are able to come off certain medications because of these. Um, this is my medicine cabinet now. Y'all can't see it, but I've got a tray that sits on my countertop at the end of the bar, and it's full. I've got probably 50 different bottles of different oils, and it's a learning curve. Um, it, it's taken me a while to learn what oils to use, what oils to mix. Uh, it's not something you're going to walk into and go, okay, I can do this and this. Um, the nice thing about this is you, can, you can't go wrong with this. Um, doTERRA, I would strongly encourage you to use doTERRA because they are the only ones. Don't ever go to Walmart. Don't ever order oils on Amazon because they, these oils can be tampered with. You could be getting a 50% solution of oil with a 50% solution of coconut or fractionated coconut oil. Um, only get from the supplier. These things are sealed um, and they're the only oils on the market that are CPTG, which means Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And one of the things that I love about doTERRA is um, you can use these a couple of different ways, and I'll go over that here in just a moment. Um, but I, I ingest a lot of these oils. I will take them, especially for allergies. Um, you can there's there's so much that you can do. People ask me what is an essential oil? It's it's a naturally occurring volatile aromatic compound that's found in in leaves of of plants, in bark, stems, roots, um, flowers, and other parts of plants out in nature. Um, each plant has different compounds, thus different oils come from that plant. They're highly concentrated and when they're distilled, they distill for purity, potency, and efficiency. Um, and historically, I mean, you look back through the Bible, what did the, what did the wise men bring baby Jesus? Gold, which was a form of currency back in that day, frankincense and myrrh, both of which are essential oils. Frankincense being the king of essential oils. It is proven to help with brain, um, stroke victims, cancer, I mean you name it. You can do a Google search for frankincense oil. Um, that's why when they open some of the tombs of some of these pharaohs, they still find frankincense oil uh, that is still good in, the, in those tombs. So uh, again, going back to natural, I think God gave us all this stuff to help with anything that we may have. Um, with the oils from doTERRA being CPTG, that means that you can use them three different ways. Um, some people think of just using them in a diffuser, and I've got my diffuser over here going. Um, I've got wild orange in it this morning. Uh, I just like to pick me up while I'm getting ready. It makes the house smell good, and it doesn't take but a couple of seconds, and you immediately start smelling that oil in the air. Um, I just put a little bit of water in that thing, put a couple of drops of my essential oil, whatever I want to smell that day, Cut it on, let it run. It goes off by itself. It's just a good way to get the oil in your in your body. This is what they call aromatic. So this is a diffuser. You can I run one in my bedroom at night. I put lavender in it to help me sleep at night. Um, you can also use these internally, which I mentioned. Um, 
I have veggie caps. Now you can, whoops, you can, every oil that doTERRA puts out has a supplemental fact on it. Uh, and that means as, as a consumer that anything with a supplemental fact on it, you can actually ingest that particular oil. There's only a few that I have that I can't take internally. Uh, but for the most part, any of these oils you can take internally as long as it's got a supplemental fact. And I don't know that you guys can see that, um, but it's just a supplemental fact on the side of the oil. And every bottle of these oils are coated. So literally, I could track down where this oil came from, what line it came down when it was made. Uh, it's very detailed. It's crazy. But you, every oil, bottle of oil, has one of these barcodes on it. So you can actually track down the source and where it came from, which is kind of cool. Um, but I take, you can take a couple of drops, lick it, Susie does that a lot, I do it if I'm in a hurry. My preferred means of taking these oils, I have empty veggie caps, they're just a capsule, and I take a couple of drops of lemon, a couple of drops of lavender, a couple of drops of peppermint for allergies, close it up, and swallow it, and that's all I do. Um, that's just an easy way to get your oils in your body internally. Now, another way that doTERRA that does it, they saw that all these wellness advocates were talking online about taking these internally, so they came up with their own little gel cap. Uh, On Guard is a uh, amazing oil blend. It has a little bit of everything in it. It is great to help boost your immunity. So if I feel like I'm going into an area where a lot of sick people, I'll take one of those. Or if I start feeling down cruddy, I'll pop one of those. You could take one to two every couple hours. Um, and they work. They really work. But this is the gel cap that they uh, came out with. It's got your On Guard. It's got so many other clove oil, wild orange, black pepper, cinnamon, eucalyptus, oregano, rosemary, melissa in it. Um, this will prevent you from getting a full-fledged cold, flu, whatever you've got. Um, so I keep these on hand, especially for on the road. I'll take these because sometimes carrying these and making my own capsules can be not so easy. Uh, the other blend that they have is called a digest in. They have a, an oil called digest in. This is great for any kind of stomach or, or in uh, digestional tract issues, cramps, uh, whatever you've got. If you've eaten too much and you just feel the you can rub this on your stomach area, um, take it internally, or these are the little, same thing, these are the little gel caps that they made up with the digestions oil. Um, Mom, we did an educational class in South Carolina a couple weeks ago. She had a bad episode, and within minutes of taking one of those, everything cleared up. Again, not a miracle cure, but it worked for her. So... Um, Anyway, that's the just ends. The third way that you can do it is apply them topically. Um, prime example, I've got uh, Deep Blue, which I thought I had up here, but I don't. Um, I'll just use the peppermint oil. You can take any of these oils, apply them to your neck, to the back of your spine, uh, base of your skull, uh, behind the ears, around your adenoids, whatever, thyroid, whatever. Um, a lot of people use them on the bottom of their feet. The, the point of your body that has the biggest pores are the soles of your feet. So you can take these oils, rub them on the soles, uh, and within seconds the oil is getting absorbed into your bloodstream. And that's one of the things, unlike taking a capsule or anything like this with drugs, they have to go through your system. You apply these within seconds, they're in your bloodstream, and you can start feeling them work. Um, all natural. Frankincense is the only oil that can actually pass through the blood brain barrier. I think I said that right. Um, so, with it immediately gets to work in your brain. Uh, and that is amazing. I think that's one of the reasons that, that back in biblical times in AD and BC, that this oil was the king of oils. This would take care of a lot of stuff. And that's why it was so valuable back then. Um, but also the oils, unlike a, a, an antibiotic that's fighting the outside of a cell, the oils can actually get inside the cell and kill. Thus, you get over this stuff so much faster. Uh, and I've seen that personally. So, 
I just want to go through the top 10 oils that, that most people get. Um, I've got them all laid out here. I already talked about digest ends. This is a good oil for any kind of digestive issues. Uh, you can apply it on your stomach or take it internally through just the oil or through the uh, gel cap. Serenity is an oil blend that I use a lot. It's uh, It has lavender, juniper, uh, cedarwood, cinnamon, um, leaf oil. And, and one of the nice things about this, everything on this label I can read. You pull out some of these drugs you're taking, you can't pronounce the words. It, again, it's all man-made stuff, so this is all natural. But this Serenity blend is a good blend to run in the diffuser at night. It has the lavender in it, so it helps relax the body, helps relax the mind. Um, it helps you go to sleep a lot faster. Um, so I would strongly encourage that blend. And then the, the next one is one of my all-time favorites is the Breathe, um, the Breathe blend. This is great if you've got any kind of sinus, uh, respiratory issues, this will open you up. You could put it in the diffuser. I've got a little chain with a little thing that I wear sometimes. I'll put a couple of drops in it. So during the day, I'm breathing this, to, the, the breathe oil. I put this on my feet at night, put it on my chest to help open my airways up. Uh, you can take it in the palm of your hand. This is a quick way, if you're traveling, this is a quick way to immediately you feel your airways open. So it's good for asthmatics. Um, breathe is just amazing. Uh, I do that with orange oil too. It boost, immediately boosts your mood. Um, so those are the blends that I use quite often. And again, I've got a whole stash over here that, that I won't show you guys at this time. But um, Peppermint oil. This is a fantastic oil. It does a lot. Um, I use this a lot with the lemon and lavender for my allergies. Uh, it is a cooling oil, so if you spray it on your skin or put it on your skin, you'll immediately feel a cool sensation. Um, there is so much that, that peppermint does. It's good for the digestive, too, so I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, again, good for respiratory as well. Peppermint oils is, is amazing. I've already talked about the On Guard uh, oil. Um, I use this a lot. Again, it, you have to learn to listen to your body. Um, if you just start feeling sluggish, bleh, um, feel like you're fixing to start coming down with something, immediately start taking the on guard. Um, it's basically like a little soldier standing out front with his shield up. It will help you not get sick. Trust me, I use it all the time. Uh, but again, you can diffuse this. If you've got kids, you can diffuse it in the, in the bedrooms at night, put it on the soles of their feet, uh, and or take it internally. It's not the best tasting oil out there, but, you know, hey, it works. Wild Orange, which I've got in my diffuser now, um, great. You can mix it with clove. You can mix it with so many different oils to create a different fragrance in your home. Um, I use this a lot during the day. Just breathe it and immediately just makes you happy. I don't know. I, I've put this on ice cream. Uh, and you can use these oils to cook with. There's, I don't have them out here, but rosemary, cilantro, black pepper, cinnamon, um, so use them for medicinal purposes, use them for aromatically, uh, but also cook with them. And it, I will promise you, it does not take but half a drop to a quarter of a drop of some of these oils. I used oregano oil in a chicken dish here a while back, and I made the mistake of putting one drop, and it was overpowering. So lemon is an amazing oil for cleaning, for cleaning your system out. Uh, it detoxifies. Um, I use this in a spray bottle to clean the cabinets and stuff a lot. Um, again, lemon and lavender and peppermint in a capsule for allergies or just put it on your hand and lick it. Um, this is so much stronger than a lemon that you would buy at the store and just zest or use the lemon juice. Um, same way with the peppermint oil. One drop of peppermint oil, I think I'm saying this right, is equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea. That's the potency that you get with these oils. So it only takes a drop or two two drops at the most every time you use this stuff. Economical, you can't go to the store and buy cleaner for what you would pay for a bottle of this that will last you months. And I use it in my water a lot of times. I'll take this on the road with us, put it in a drop of a cup of cold water with ice, and drink it that way as well. 
The next one I've already talked about frankincense, but um, it's an amazing oil, um, king of oils. Google this, you will see everything that this thing will do. I use this sometimes at night. I usually take a capsule of this with some other oils at night to help my brain function. Um, also helps with immunity support. Um, a lot that the frankincense will do, and it's not a bitter oil. A lot of people have used that with dementia patients, with Alzheimer's patients, because it does help. Um, oregano is another favorite. I don't use this every day, but if I feel like I am getting something or I am on the verge of a full-fledged cold, if I didn't catch it in time uh, with the On Guard, uh, oregano is my oil to go to, and also thyme. Uh, oregano is a proven antibiotic of oils. Um, if you watch television at all, you've seen Purdue chicken commercials. They've actually started putting out a line of commercials where they've actually are taking away the antibiotics from chickens, and they're putting oregano in the oil. I mean, in the water, so they're not having to feed these chickens and all these antibiotics, which is great. Um, but this is a amazing oil to kill whatever you've got, um, and again, you can cook with it. Um, lavender. Is one that I use pretty much every day as well. Um, calms your, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, it just calms you. It helps you sleep better. I used to have a terrible problem with sleep. I can put some of this on my feet, put it in the diffuser, um, I'm gone. Terra Shield is a blend for bugs. I pulled this one out because it's spring, bugs are already in the air. Um, you can take and put this in a spritz bottle and put it with a little bit of water, spray it on. They even make a spray, Terra Shield spray. So it's a good repellent blend. It's got cilantro oil, cedarwood oil in it. Um, good way to keep the mosquitoes off your kids, too, and it works. The next one is Melaleuca, which we call tea tree oil. Um, and anybody that's familiar with this knows tea tree oil is good for cuts. Um, I slipped my end of my finger yesterday on a card I was shoving in the door. Um, any kind of cut helps stop infection. Um, good for any kind of skin irritation. Uh, so much that tea tree oil can do. I had a bad sinus infection last year. And that's the beauty in this. I have to sit and think about how long it's been since I've had a cold. I mixed peppermint, tea tree, and what was the third one? Lemon. got disconnected a while ago, so I apologize for that, but um, Melaleuca oil, like I was saying, you can take a hot steaming mug of water, put a couple of drops of Melaleuca, a couple of drops of peppermint, a couple of drops of lemon, and it's called as a hot steaming mug of death. Whatever you've got going on in your sinus area, if you do this, it will kill it. Drop those in, put your cup of your hands over the mug, and inhale three or four different times. It's not the most pleasant thing to do because it feels like it's burning, but the Melaleuca kills the bacteria, whatever's in there, so does the lemon. Uh, peppermint opens your airway, so it's a great way to get instant relief from any kind of sinus headache or sinus congestion, anything like that. So that being said, there's, there's a ton of ways that you can use these oils. You can mix. Um, I'm constantly learning. Um, the main thing is it's just a holistic approach to health care and taking care of your body. Um, I mentioned uh, a couple of different blends. doTERRA has actually made, and these are just two, I've got a couple more over here. This is a blend called Cheer. Um, it's a great blend. I carry this one. I've got one called Peace. Um, it's a roller bottle. You can take it and roll it on the back of your head, base of your skull. Um, past Tense is another one. It's great for headaches, so I'll take this, especially if I'm driving. I'll actually take this and rub it on my temples. Don't get it in your eyes. It does have peppermint oil in it, uh, or a base of your neck, and immediately headache dissipates. It's gone. But this one's called past tense, and I love it because it's just very, very convenient. It's in a roll, roller bottle. I don't have to deal with putting the oil in my hand and rubbing it on my head. So, I hope this helps explain some of what just a few of these oils will do. There are so many out there. Um, again, the biggest points are how to use the oils, how to get started if you are interested in trying these. It's a win-win.
um, these things. I mean, cost effective. They're not per drop. These oils will last you forever, and the cost on them is absolutely amazing. Um, I just tell people, how, how much do you spend going to a doctor when your child gets sick, even if you have a copay? Um, you can buy a couple of these oils to get started or buy a small kit um, that has pretty much all of the top 10 in it plus a diffuser. Um, it's just a great way to get um, involved and start utilizing a natural way to take care of yourself. Um, but if you're interested, message me, comment below. Um, I would love to help you on your journey. Um, there's tons of educational tools out there. doTERRA has a ton. Um, there are a couple of books that I read and keep up with, a couple of online chats on Facebook. Um, so whatever I can do to assist you, let me know. I'm here to help. I did not want this to come across as salesy because that's not what I wanted this to be. I wanted it to be more of an educational video. Um, but just think about it. Um, taking a capsule, man-made, synthetic, may, may or may not have side effects, or something that comes from a plant that God created that you can use on your body or in your body. Um, I'll go it this way if I can. Um, and like I said, I've not been sick since I've started really using these oils the way they were intended to be used. I can't count on, I can't remember the last time I was sick. And if I do start getting sick, I know the steps to take to prevent getting a full-fledged cold or sinus infection. So, hope this helps, guys. Um, message me, comment below share my clip, um, whatever I can do to help, I'm here for you.